between a mile and a quarter for a million dollar purse, with 550,000 of that going to the winner. The field contains many of the horses you'll likely see in November's Breeders' Cup Classic. There on the rail is last year's turf champion, It's All Greek to Me, trying his luck on the dirt with Corey Nakatani at 7. Anshan from the Charlie Whittingham Stable at 20. There's the number one horse in the country, Farm Away, with Chris McCarron at 3 to 2. Stalwart Charger is next at 58. Moving on in the field, we see Twilight Agenda, who's also from the D. Wayne Lucas Stable at 6. Best Pal, the only three-year-old here, the first to compete in the ACRS Series. And because of that, he gets an eight-pound weight break. You see 116 versus 124 on the rest of the horses. Festin, the ACRS points leader, is next at 9-2 with Eddie Delahousse. And rounding out the field is the Kentucky Derby winner and last year's Breeders' Cup Classic winner, unbridled with Craig Perret at 6-1. That's the field for the Del Mar's first million-dollar event. So here now with the call is Trevor Denman. Field for the Pacific Classic sent on their way. They came off to a perfect start. Stalwart Charger, Twilight Agenda, Farm Away. Those three go to the lead. Farm Away taking the lead down at the rail. It's All Greek to Me is right there in fourth, and Unshine is showing some early speed as well. Best Pal getting a perfect spot, tucking in just behind the leaders. Then there's a gap of six back to Unbridled, and Festin is last. He's 12 lengths off the leaders. They head towards the 7 8 pole, and Chris McCarran has the favourite Farm Away out here on the lead, and he's taking them along the perfect pace. He's not going slow, but he's certainly not using him. Twilight Agenda is second. Unshine is third. It's all Greek to me. Scraping the paint three lengths off them. Stalwart Charger on the outside of that. Best Pal is going nice and comfortable here in sixth. He's only four lengths off the leaders. Then there's a gap of five lengths back to Unbridled. And as usual, Feston can't go with him. He's 20 lengths off the lead. They have five-eighths of a mile to go, and it's still Farm Away, just on a long rain out here. He must be enjoying himself out here. He's getting a little pressure now from Twilight Agenda, but they're not going fast. Then we have Stalwart Charger being pushed along in third. Best Pal has moved up fourth. Best Pal's going to have to race wide, though. Unshine is next. It's all Greek to me at the rail. Unbridled, still not been asked to run. He has eight lengths to make up. It's another six back to Feston. Five sixteenths of a mile to go, and D. Wayne Lucas is dominating the Pacific Classic with Farm Away and Twilight Agenda. Best Pal coming after them now. Unbridled is starting to make up ground. Feston is too far back at the top of the lane, and it's Kent DeSormo and Twilight Agenda now sent for home. Farm Away can find no more. Best Pal is third, then Unbridled, and it's all Greek to me. But it's Twilight Agenda well clear in the Pacific Classic as they come to the 16th pole. He's starting to shift out just a little. Best Pal is coming after him now. Twilight Agenda, but here comes Best Pal. Best Pal going to catch him at the wire. Best Pal has got Twilight Agenda, and Best Pal and Pat Valenzuela win the million dollar Pacific. The only three-year-old in the field and the first to compete in the ACRS Series, Best Pal, wins the Pacific Classic and sets a new track record at Del Mar, 159-4 for the mile and a quarter. It's the second million-dollar event the Gelding has won. He also captured the million-dollar Hollywood Futurity back in December. The Best Pal is the son of Habitoni out of the bet she did and was bred in California by his owner, John Maybe, who's chairman of the Del Mar Board of Directors and the driving force behind the Pacific Classic. Best Pal is now the third richest California bred ever with 1.96 million in career earnings. He's trained by Gary Jones. Well, Best Pal's rider was Patrick Valenzuela, and West Coast correspondent Mike Wilman caught up with him immediately after the race for his feelings on winning this big million dollar event. It's quite exciting, Mike. Uh, he's such a good horse. When he was a two year old, I thought he would win the Kentucky Derby. You know, it's unfortunate I wasn't around to ride him when he ran, ran in the Kentucky Derby, but. I've got him back now, and I think we've got a hell of a shot to win the Breeders' Cup. I think he's a great horse. He's, uh, he does everything great. You know, Gary did a hell of a job with him. Uh, Mr. Baby, maybe was so nice to, to put me back on the horse, and I really appreciate everything. God's given me, you know, so much of my life. I'm so thankful.